segment is sponsored by Bryant and Stratton College. Jobs in the healthcare field are projected to grow 19% by the year 2024, adding about 2.3 million new jobs. Bryant and Stratton College campus director Beth Murphy is back with us to reveal all about their healthcare programs and how they can assist you with finding a job after graduation. It's great to have you back, Beth. Thank you. It's really exciting to think about the growth and the development and the opportunity, but as a student and then looking at that career ahead, you want to have yourself positioned so you're ready to go. I think it's important for anybody who's making the investment in college to really look and say, okay, are there jobs now in this field of study and are there jobs in the future? And healthcare has great projections for both current jobs as well as future jobs. Classes have started, so, uh, you know, is it, have we missed the boat? No, unlike a lot of the, the community colleges, your traditional universities, um, Bryan and Stratton College is still enrolling up till the 19th. So if you're interested, you want to get some credits under your belt before the new year and, and you've got your family routine going, I, I think now's the time to look at starting. We hear these statistic, statistics about the healthcare field growing and ballooning and just being ready for it. What type of programs, because I'm sure there are ones that are most targeted um, well, nursing is a very popular program that we offer, um, but I think a lot of times within the healthcare arena, people don't realize that there are so many job opportunities. Um, medical assisting. A lot of times people in a doctor's office, when they're going to their doctors, they think a nurse is taking care of them. That's actually a medical assistant, and that requires an associate degree. There's also management jobs within healthcare, and that's a bachelor's degree. Um, and what I like about Bryan and Stratton College is that we offer this wide breadth of programs of study and we have the educational credentialing that is necessary for those. So we're not having you pay for or spend extra time for academic credentialing that you don't need for that job that you want. So there's a wide diversity of programs and jobs and you're getting everybody ready but you mentioned nursing and that's one that a lot of people maybe think of or gravitate. Is, is there something new going on in the nursing program? Well nursing is one of those high demand jobs, um, high field demand of the field of study. Um, Brian Stratton College, we have had a fantastic year at the Richmond campus. We have a 100% NCLEX pass rate. We just received our official ASIN accreditation for our nursing program. So it is an exciting time to be a nursing student at Brian and Stratton College. And a lot of folks watching may say, okay, sounds good, I'm ready, but there is that obstacle of putting the dollars and cents together. And that's where you really need to come in and sit down and talk to people. Um, and I think it's, it's a couple things. First of all, you sit down with an admissions representative and you truly um, do that exploration to make sure the program of study makes sense for you. Then you sit down with a financial aid advisor and you talk about how can I afford this program and is the salary that I'm going to make allow me to pay back any loans I'm going to take. All of those questions can be answered when you sit down with a financial aid advisor. What a great idea to have that comprehensive picture because it may it's one thing to find the program and career program and then the career that's right for you, how you're going to make it happen and then long term how that's going to you you will reap the benefits of it. I think um, today things have changed. And again, college is an investment. And if we're not asking those questions and, and looking not just now, but in the future when we're making these decisions, we're doing ourselves or our children a disservice. You have a boot camp session. <laughs> a boot camp. So certification is becoming very important. Again, this is uh, back to our conversation about the right credentialing with the job. You've got a lot of medical assistant um, graduates out there that are not certified. And certification is becoming a huge buzzword for the medical assistants. So we are offering a boot camp and we have an information session on uh, September 20th where you can learn about this, but it is a, fi a five to six weekend boot camp where you come in and you prepare to take the exam that will then allow you to be certified. So it's a, it's a great um, opportunity for people to get that necessary certification. And if folks are interested in learning more, you've talked about coming in and talking with the team. You have a Lunch and Learn coming up. Lunch and Learn on September 21st. And that is a great opportunity to come in, tour the, fac the facility, meet faculty, and do some 
exploration. You know, what does it really mean to be a medical administrative assistant? And these are the experts who can answer those questions. That's fantastic. We've got information to share. Beth, thank you again. Thank you. If you're interested in learning more about Bryant and Stratton College's Certified Clinical Medical Assistant Boot Camp, you'll want to come to the information session held uh, at the Richmond campus on Tuesday, September 20th at 6 p.m. And there is also that medical career lunch and learn. It's on Wednesday, September 21st at noon. You can register online, bryantstratton.edu or call 745-2444.